Welcome back everyone. My name is Jess. I'm dog mom to Baloo and Miss Bianca. We are taking over the YouTube today. Uh, first of all, if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. And today we're going to be talking about everything um, that you would need to bring home with an eight week old Newfoundland. First off, I'd like to thank you guys for all of your comments and questions from the previous videos. That's actually what led us to creating this video today to help better support you guys when bringing home a new member to your family. Okay, so let's get things started. The first thing is going to be food and water bowls. Usually um, your breeder will send you home with a bag of food that your puppy has been uh, eating while they're there to help integrate to whatever food that you will be providing to your puppy. Right, and the second thing is going to be your collar, your leash, and your dog tags. Um, go ahead and get creative with this. I know when we were thinking about getting our um, puppies, I went a little crazy on the colors. Um, <laughs> she was all pink and flowers and bows and blue. We got a blue and a little bow tie. Okay, and the third thing is gonna be a crate. Um, we did two different size crates. Um, when we brought home Blue and Bianca, they were in much smaller crates and then we graduated them to a bigger crate. You can also do a crate that has dividers in it um, to help as they get bigger. Um, if you wanna see the importance of crate training, you can see what Miss Bianca did when she was out of her crate. We'll link that right here. Um, you can also, um, if your dog is having a tough time with crate training, you can feed your dog in your crate, in the crate. You wanna create a safe place um, for them to go. It's honestly amazing when they are crate trained and our dogs will just go to sleep and up theirs throughout the day. Number four is gonna be a dog bed or a placemat. If you want, you can go ahead and click our link below to see which ones we used. Um, we definitely had two. Our place cot was more for training um, and then the bed was for um, them relaxing and sleeping on. <laughs> okay, number five is what toys do you need to have? Um, we recommend a tennis ball and a rope to start and also to not leave these things alone with your new puppy. These are things that are meant to engage you and your puppy to build that relationship together and it's fun for everyone. Okay, number six is going to be training treats. Um, you're going to want a couple different types of training treats. Um, we usually have a low level reward and a high level reward. Um, so your low level are going to be like your packs of 500 that you're constantly just dishing out for anything that, that your dog does that is so great, whether it's going potty outside, doing a sit. Um, and then those higher level rewards are gonna be for things that are a little bit more difficult for them. Um, just to really kind of keep them engaged. Number seven is going to be carpet cleaning and supplies. I know that when you get a new uh, puppy, you're kind of intimidated by how much um, pee you're gonna have to clean up. Um, and remember that every dog is different. Baloo was much easier to potty train than Bianca was. Um, we used primarily Nature's Miracle um, and we constantly had paper towels. Um, but also remember when you kind of looking back, when they're going potty outside, reward them for that. Say, good, go potty, and you know, make sure you're feeding them those treats, and I promise it will get better. Number eight is going to be a dog brush. Just get any generic dog brush up front. Um, this is gonna be crucial um, in creating that bond with your new puppy, as well as getting them used to um, you know, that brushing sensation. So in the event that you did wanna get them groomed or in a later date when you wanna just go give them a bath, they're not gonna be so scared of it and it's gonna become second nature to them and this is a good time that they're gonna be able to spend with you. Okay, number nine is going to revolve around that crate training and at nighttime. Um, that first night when you bring home your new puppy, there's a lot of new things going on. Um, and it can be really hard for their, whether it's a new puppy or even a rescue to kind of settle down and kind of get a good night's sleep. So we would recommend a pheromone collar. Um, what we did um, was we would put it in a Ziploc bag throughout the day and then at night we would put it on um, Bianca to help her calm down um, to get some really good rest. The other thing we would recommend um, that we used primarily with Baloo was a heartbeat um, toy. 
and we'd put that in his crate at night to just kind of create that like sense of uh, not being alone uh, since they're away from their litter mates. Okay, number 10 on our list is puppy shampoo. Uh, make sure you do some research on which puppy shampoo that you choose to have um, on hand. Um, Baloo came bathed for us. He was a little cute little fluff ball. Um, but later that night he had an accident in his crate. So he ended up in the kitchen sink getting a bubble bath um, and then blow dried which as you can imagine, he loved. Um, <laughs> for Bianca, um, not all puppies come home bathed and ready to go. Um, so for Bianca, that was the first thing we did when she got home was she got a quick trip to the kitchen sink for a bubble bath um, just to help her smell a little bit nicer. Okay, number 11 is going to be a pooper scooper. If this is your first dog bringing home, um, you can use a garbage bag, you can use a shovel, they make ones with cool little claws. Um, just make sure that you have something ready on hand um, to start picking up dog food. Number 12, um, this one is more Newfoundland specific or your dogs that are a little more drooly. Um, make sure you have rags or towels to help with those hangers um, on hand and also a lint roller. We go through them all the time. Make sure you have one, dog hair will be everywhere. Number 13 is going to be a nail trimmer. Um, you don't have to start trimming their nails right away, but we recommend having one. Um, it kind of goes back to that brush, um, making sure that your dog is starting to get used to it, starting for them to get used to you holding on their paws, playing with their paws, and them not really caring too much, um, so that when you do get them groomed, they're not all scared. Okay, number 14 is going to be a treat pouch. Um, if you would like to know which ones we use, they're going to be linked in our website below. Um, but you don't need to get too crazy with this. You can use something as simple as a Ziploc bag. You can use a, we used a rock climbing pouch. Um, you can definitely get creative, but remember that your dogs um, don't work for free. So their money is going to be their training treats. So make sure that if you want them to do something or they do something great, make sure you feed them that treat and that you reward them. Number 15 um, is going to be a food container. Um, having your dog food in like a tote with a lid that locks to make sure that your dogs don't get in it. It helps stay a little fresher and it just isn't a place where it can be contained. Okay, now time for some honorable mentions. Oh, thank you. That's nice of you. Um, we definitely recommend contacting your vet to get set up for your first uh, puppy visit. <laughs> um, for your vaccines. And then we also recommend um, looking into a dog trainer. Um, we did ours through Positive Pets just for to help with puppy socialization and to also learn how we can help train our dogs to support them. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last thing is that we would highly recommend just from a personal experience is dog insurance. Um, I can have Rob link that video somewhere over here um, as to why we will continue to have dog insurance. Um, thank you for watching today. Um, if we missed anything, please leave it in the comments below. Um, we would be happy to hear from you guys, and we hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.